Today we're going to review the Baofeng UV5R radio. This is probably one of the best things to happen to ham radio since ham radio was invented. It allows people to get into ham radio very cheaply. I paid $25.99 on Amazon with two-day prime shipping. So let's go over what comes with the radio. First of all, you get the radio, a rubber antenna, a belt clip, and a battery. The charging stand, which comes with the charging stand and a wall wart. And also uh, earphones and a microphone. The microphone does have a nice positive click to it. So, what are the good things about the radio? Uh, first of all, it's price. It's fairly easy to use unless you have to program the stations, which I bought a USB cable to do. Um, the buttons are nice and clicky. However, some of the drawbacks are it's not very user friendly if you have to program it without the software. And actually, that button is really easy to bump or accidentally hold down if you're using the belt clip. Um, so what frequencies does it cover? It covers 136 to 174 megahertz, which also includes the 2 meter band, and then the 400 to 480 megahertz covers the 70 centimeter band. So how do you use your radio? Well, you turn it on, and you can, uh, say if you want to use a simplex, you can hit that and just type in what frequency you want. Four, six, five, five, five. That would work on simplex. I'm not going to go into how to program um, some of the duplex stations and the offsets because it's just a quick overview. So what else does the radio have? Well, it has an FM radio. As you can see here, it does get fairly loud. That's activated by just clicking the call button quickly. It has a flashlight. Not the best flashlight, but it'd work in a pinch. You activate that by pressing the monitor once, and it goes steady on. Press it again, it goes to blink. And press it a third time, it turns it off. It has a menu. There are 40 menu options, including the uh, reset. Press menu to get out or to change. Press exit to exit it. Uh, the output on this radio is 4 watts and high, 1 watt on low. And I have uh, clearly gotten a little bit over a mile, uh, probably a mile and a half, using a different antenna. And with that antenna, with some static, I have sent and received right about 5 miles. I would strongly recommend when you order this radio, just go ahead and order a Nagoya NA771 with the radio, and that will make it much easier uh, to make contacts. So one thing is, if the radio is in Chinese when you get it, you have to press menu, and it's menu option 14. In this you can set the uh, voice. So you press menu to enter the settings and then the up and down arrows to change it. So we have Chinese, off, and English. Press menu again to set it. You can exit out. Another thing is if you want to reset the radio when you first get it probably isn't a bad idea. The reset is option 40. Uh, you press menu. I don't want to reset it because I have my frequencies programmed in. And uh, then you can reset all. It will speak to you in Chinese if you do that. So make sure you remember menu 14 to change it back to English. Overall, it's a great radio. Fairly durable, fairly solid. Um, I haven't had any problems with it yet. And I've been using it for about a week now. Uh, made my first contact on it a few days ago because I didn't order the new antenna right away. That's important. And... I'll continue to explore it, and when I learn more about the radio, I can uh, do a better video. Alright, thank you.